Two veterans setting a brisk pace, taking an early lead. We got the best mushers in the world, the best dogs in the world, and Iditarod puts on a, one heck of a good race. It's like Christmas, the World Series, and the Super Bowl, all put together in one when the longest sled dog race in the world sets off in Alaska. This year, with the pandemic still raging, the race has changed to an extreme wilderness adventure, one designed to avoid population but keep the spirit of the race alive. The Iditarod Gold Trail Loop of 2021 runs 860 miles through the wild and unforgiving landscape of the Alaska Range. They'll reach the abandoned gold mining town of Iditarod before turning back through the mountain range. The sun is up, but it's still cold, making it the perfect setting for the start of the 49th annual Iditarod. In the midst of a pandemic, it wasn't a given that the Iditarod would even take place this year. Just happy to be here. Glad we're having a race and we're more than ready. Eager to get racing. We're lucky we don't have the ocean between us like the Norwegians, so I, I feel bad for the mushers over there that wanted to be here and we wish they were here. And speaking of Norwegians, Thomas Werner, last year's Iditarod champion, won't get the chance to defend his title this year. I signed up for the 2021, 20, but uh, it's just impossible. I think I have this incredible team and I feel really ready to race. So uh, for me, not going to Alaska this year is kind of hard. You know, it's kind of a sad feeling that you're not able to go. But I kind of achieved my goal already. So what I really wanted to go back and, and uh, it's not only being racing and winning it's also being a part of that race it's it's so great race and go through the nature and the countryside and the, all the checkpoints it's just uh, this amazing feeling and you feel so alive well it's going to be an interesting race since they changed the whole race so it's a new concept and uh, i wish all the mushers the best and have fun and uh, i'm really jealous that you can be a part of this great race and uh, <laughs> i'm not this year but uh, have fun and uh, happy trails Blowing right through the first checkpoint, setting a brisk pace from the start, is Ryan Reddington, the grandson of the founding father of the Iditarod, Joe Reddington Sr. I'm excited. It's going to be a really fun race. It's going to be uh, new to all of us on the way back, but I think that you'll see the, the veteran mushers really put on a really good show for everybody. And on the way to Rainy Pass, another veteran, the French and American musher Nick Petit, He's passing Reddington, taking the driver's seat. Petit finished second in 2018 and is aiming for his first victory. Although Nick got an early lead, there's yet hundreds of miles to go. And we'll see you soon for more updates on the Iditarod Trail.